everyone, I'm Piet Levy. I'm the music writer with the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel and TapMilwaukee.com. And I'm here with, from Milwaukee, now based in New York, French Horn Rebellion, who are in Austin playing many shows during South by Southwest. Hey guys, how's it going? Hello, thanks for having me. Yo! <laughs> so I have, uh, we have this segment called 10 for Tap, where we ask you guys 10 questions. You ready to get started? Okay. All right, beautiful. Ooh. Let's start with number one. Okay, so French Horn Rebellion, where does that name come from? Robert. It's because of Bill Barnowitz. <laughs> so I used to study French horn with Bill Barnowitz, who's the, who was the principal horn in the Milwaukee Symphony for years and years. And then, um, and then uh, there was a year in college, he was my professor in college, and it wasn't going very well. And uh, there was one year I decided, I gotta make some dance music, you know, let's make something fun, and let's put French horn in it, and let's, uh, you know, see how that goes. I think it has a lot to do when Robert's playing horn, and like, you're, you're trying so hard to master this instrument. It's an archaic instrument that doesn't really have the same kind of connection to today's culture that I did in the past. So I think it's a lot about taking the instrument you love and making it work for you, you know, right now. So uh, you guys are from Milwaukee originally. What, what stands out most from your time in Milwaukee? I know you haven't been there for, for a few years now. What stands out most to me was the community. We grew up in the Whitefish Bay community. And that was the most fun thing I, from my childhood I could think of, is having everyone around, like going and playing basketball in the alley. Like, we'd have friends down the street, we'd have pick up games of football in, in, the, in the, the parks nearby. I had a great, I love the infrastructure in Milwaukee, uh, the park systems, and there's all these kind of summer camps we used to do, and that's my, my fondest memory there. So what's it, if you guys have this background with, with French horns, I guess you played in orchestra in school then, right? So where did the love of dance music come from? Uh, well, actually, I, I used to play in the U, UWM uh, sym symphonic band uh, when I was a senior in high school, and then I went to school in Chicago. And um, I, I guess that's where French horn start, rebellion started was when I was in school. But um, We've yeah. always loved dance music. We've always loved you dance music. You can see our, our home video as uh, Exhibit A. Uh, plenty of dancing around as kids in the living room, mom and dad laughing at us. So you guys are brothers, I'm sure. Were you competitive growing up? In what ways were you competitive? We take it all out on the dance floor. Yeah. It's on the dance floor. That's where the competitive nature comes in. My spin move is way better than his. What? <laughs> spin move is ridiculous. He always falls down. No, nope. no. Nope. <laughs> so what do you miss most about Milwaukee? I miss just... It's like a perfect sized town, you know? It's not too big, it's not too small, there's a lot of stuff going on. And uh, it's, it's manageable to get around, and people are really nice, and beer is amazing, and the brewers, the, the packers, the lake. You guys have gotten a lot of good accomplishments, uh, you know, as a band. Uh, what, what do you think is the best, the biggest band accomplishment so far, the thing that you're most proud of in terms of awareness for you guys? I think it's our international travels. Because growing up, I always was had the allure of like traveling and like thinking about, oh, what's happening in Asia? Like, I don't know anything about that. Well, I'd love to go there and see what's happening. And I think that's our favorite. My favorite thing about what it's it, like, what we've been doing is that we've been able to travel all around the world. Where do you guys still want to play next? Where do we want to play? Yeah. Well, I'd like it. I'd Antarctica. like to. Uh, Africa. I, I think our, our, we've, we've always played so many great club nights and nights that are, are, are really fun as they are and we get invited to play on them. But I think eventually we would love to play a show where it's our fans and our people and our band geeks, you know, all coming out and having a, having a great time. You know, I think that's, that would be amazing. Yeah, like a, a, a unique curated night that is kind of like French Horn Rebellion vibe from start to finish. And Our dream would be to like play Turner Hall and have like 600 people show up cool. and everybody just having a great time. Cool. Cool. You guys, uh, your dance music, I think you have a, a special name for a new style you're developing. Can you tell me about what that is and, and how you define it? Yeah. We're working on this genre called Next Jack Swing. Okay. Basically, we were, we're doing a lot of new disco music and then uh, we were like, well, maybe we should slow the tempo down. Maybe we should make it a little funkier. And then all of a sudden we got something that sounds like Teddy Riley and, and Guy, you know? And we're like, this sounds like New Jack Swing. Yeah. So then we're like, let's call up Jody Watley and see if she wants to join, because she did that stuff. And she's like, yeah, let's do Next Jack Swing. And there you go. 
Tell me, guys, about you. You worked with Jody Watley, a Grammy winner. Uh, how did that happen? How did you guys start working with her? We were well, really lucky. Got really lucky. Really lucky. It was through a friend of a friend. Uh, we were working at Imogen, which is our music publisher, and they organized a show with us uh, in Los Angeles. And they told uh, they told us, "Hey, uh, Jody Watley wants to sing three songs at the end of the show, and you guys are going to be her backing band, and you have three days." <laughs> we're like. Uh, okay, <laughs> we'll do it. So we did remixes of her songs, like in a French Horn Rebellion style, and she just came on stage and it was electric, and, and, she, and everybody incredible. just loved it. And she was like, let's do some more stuff, this is amazing. So uh, then about uh, nine months ago, I recorded a bunch of music with her, so there's gonna be more songs coming out that are gonna be released slowly. You guys have been coming to South by, South, uh, South by Southwest for a few years now, so what are your thoughts about South by Southwest in general? Well, it's a great opportunity. It's sensational. I mean, look <laughs> at this. It's a sensational. It's a sensational festival for emerging artists, and now for everyone. I mean, everyone's coming down. Everybody's here. here. You're not even emerging artists. Everybody's here. I mean, here. it's just a. It's a beast because I think Robert said it best when he likened it for musicians. It's like getting to what did you say about the video game? Oh, no. Well, like playing the hardest level. Well, that's like to do the shows. There's nowhere more difficult to do a good show than at South by. So if you can rock the crowd on like, it's like playing NBA Jam on like professional setting or like legend setting, you know? It's not like veteran or rookie. It's like you gotta be a legend in order to rock the crowd here. To do well. To yeah, do well because, because it's so challenging. The environment is so challenging. It's very challenging and it's a fun opportunity because everybody from around the world is here. We have publishers from Japan, Australia. We have people from the UK, Europe. All people that, that all are here in Austin, so it's it's a real internet. It's like a trade show essentially for cool. music. So I see we've got the French horn. Did you want to, to play something for all the listeners in Milwaukee? Sure. Well, should I put We're the bell on? Probably put the bell on. Get the squeaky sound. The squeaky sound's really good. Ahem. Oh. <laughs> It's the greatest sight Hanging on your love cliff Looking down Living life on the fly And there's danger all around You're gonna stop I don't sing that song actually That's our friend J-Pat That's why I did that low thing He does it much better than me do Well hey, French Rebellion, thanks a lot Have fun and awesome Appreciate you chatting Thanks so much for chatting with us.